we just picked up this Losi Mini B from my local hobby store over at Pegasus Hobbies. So yeah, we got a little bit of a deal on this thing. I saw the paint job, the box was open, so I didn't even know it was, had a little bit of a discount on it. It was an open box deal. It's completely ready to run, which means we have the batteries for the radio, the car, and even a charger. Kind of a dinky little remote, but I have a feeling we'll put this on one of my good radios at some point. Um, these come brushed, which is kind of cool because it makes them cheaper, but also they're a bit slower. So that's something to contend with. But if you're getting this for a kid, this thing would be sweet for a kid. I'd be stoked if I had one of these when I was younger. Here's what comes in the box. You get the car itself, which is super, super clean. Aluminum chassis, it looks like. I got some vinyl I'm gonna put over this, make sure I don't scratch it up and make it a little bit cool. I'll try to match some of these colors. I think I'm gonna do something bright down here and be cool. But yeah, this thing is like a full-size car, just miniaturized. Shocks feel pretty good. They're just plastic bodied, I can tell right now. But everything else on this car is really, really sweet. Look at the paint job too. I, that was the thing that I saw first that really got me. It was the yellow, orange, blue, and white with the yellow wheels was cool. And yeah, this thing is just sweet. It's like a full-blown buggy, just in a little mini package. Definitely killing it. Yeah, this thing just feels dialed. Obviously, some ride height adjustment would be nice for getting this thing on the track. So if we do that at some point, we'll break into that. Start getting back in a little bit of tuning on the, the off-road stuff. Let me pop the shell off real quick and we'll check out the electronics inside. Really cool, just like a real buggy. Scaled down, pared down. See the battery comes included in here. I'll get that on a charger soon. Got your Spectrum servo in there. Just a nice little package. I'm really excited about this. We're gonna get this charged up and at some point we're gonna drive it, test drive it somewhere either backyard or we have a smaller indoor track that I know is a little bit close that this might be a perfect size for. So we might try that out. All right, what's up guys? We are out at Tony's Hobbies. We're gonna start driving the minis. We got a bunch of minis out today, so let's get into it. Keep her going. <laughs> You're good. I was trying to battle. That was my fault. Oh. Yeah, so this is just a fully brushed stock car from Low Street. It's one of the older model of buggies. I think it feels awesome, man. A lot of fun for a little car. Like double in, triple out? Looks like it. Yeah. There's some batteries. Oh, I could throw the slash out, actually. Let's take the slash out for a rip. That would be fun. Kind of absurd, it's all linked to my Futaba radio. 12 year old slash. Works for me though. Yeah, that's got power, Braden. It's pretty good. Yeah. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a race lad. Whoa, boy getting wild. Ah, the body roll. No LCG. This thing rips. Uh, 
I'll ride. Oh, hey. <laughs> the parachute was coming for you. No! Oh, that oh. I went in gentle. So we brought the Mini B out to Tony's Hobbies. Do some testing. My buddy's also got all their minis out and a couple full 10 scale buggies. Brushless mini B right there. I think it's a 2.0 also. Another one. And then right here you got a 10 scale. A Oh, real rear motor. That's fun. the looks of they've done some indoor drone racing with these rings up around the wall but yeah here's a quick look at the track up on the driver's stand actually a really nice driver's stand tracks pretty simple they're kind of made for all levels of driver hobby shop is over through that door and the pit space that's available is right here over on the inside of this Watching Alan drive his uh, Techno ET410 right now. This thing rips and Alan can drive like a madman. Alan's from over at Super G. All right, so here's the Mini B brush. Got a whole table of minis. Some more laps with it and... All right, can I try this one? Yeah. I get to drive a brushless one. That thing rips. Oh, whoa! <laughs> yeah. They roll it like a little jump. Did you even feel it? <laughs> it literally looked like it just like ramped you. Oh my goodness. I bought that on camera. Panic camera. Yeah. Wow. Wow, you jumped him. Careful on the straight. Oh, that's, oh my God, no way. That's so sick. Here, drive my little brush one. You can rip it around the whole, yeah. yeah. You can rip it around the whole back corner and just full throttle and it feels you really cool. No, it feels so cool, dude. It's just like, you just, it goes so slow. Oh wow, this thing. It's slow enough that you can almost not get in trouble. You have to make sure you pin this or it flips itself for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, just barely, dude. That's so cool. This thing is zippy right here. I'm right here in white, baby. Let's see, get some laps testing the brush. Whoa. I didn't steer hard enough. Oh my gosh, that is fun. That is cool. <laughs> I'm driving it, but that's John's car. Yeah, this thing feels awesome. It drives good. It's quick. Yeah, it really is. Does it with a 6.5 in it? Right? It really <laughs> does. It's just so overpowered for what it's supposed to do. Oh, one dart. <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't like that one. That, that, that little triple right there, no. The rest of it is quite smooth. Wow. Outside? Okay. So, yeah. That's cool, you dude. No, no, no. I'm gonna. I'm, I can't wait till I can put the, my brushless in. That's fun. Yeah, 
Yeah, those tires feel fine too. Oh, that was clean. That was clean. As I said, if you double, double, single, it's just for switching. I'm just driving my little slow guy right around now. Oh yeah, the inside's real roller. The outside, I see what Nemo was saying. A little whip, a little whip. Almost rolled it. All right, we're just in a full pin lap, full pin. Oh, Nemo's full, oh. Nemo didn't know it almost came at him. This almost feels like a stock two-wheel drive buggy. It just can't hit any of the jumps. And yours feels like a full-blown two-wheel drive mod buggy. It feels It's honestly, cool. Dude. Now that it's I got like, the, the track line down too, I'm really enjoying it. Strawberry.